Hello and welcome to another Quiz Conforms training video. Today we'll talk about user actions and how you can use them to override the out of the box new item and edit item forms. In previous videos we talked about user actions. A user action is a custom action that is triggered manually by a user click on a custom toolbar button. As we saw in the previous video, Sometimes you need user input as part of your user action. Kind of an initiation form with data required from a user used by this custom action. You can do that by selecting the exact fields that you would like to display to the end user while the user action runs. In this video, we'll talk about default user actions. With default user actions, you can overwrite the out-of-the-box new item form and edit item form with context-sensitive user actions. So when a user clicks edit, it doesn't need to see the exact same edit form every time. He can see many other variations of the same edit form with different fields depending on the context of the current item. Here's a quick example of what you can do with default user actions. I have this simple issue tracker list, which enables user report issues and IT help desk engineers resolve those issues. So as an end user, when I create a new issue, I can report a title, issue description, and report it by and report it. Once issues are opened by end users, they are assigned to support engineers. So you can see here I have a new issue, and I also have an issue that's in progress status and it was assigned to a support engineer. Now I added another user action here that enables me to send a comment to the support engineer. I call it add comment and when I click it, it opens a custom form just with the comment field because I don't need all other fields. I already reported this issue. It's already being handled by support engineer. So this user action just enables me to communicate with support engineer, provide more data maybe. Now, what happens if I have this um, issue that's already been handled by support engineer, so someone is already working on it, and I try to edit it? This is not such a good idea because, as we said, someone is already working on this issue, and this might lead to problems. And that's why we added the add comments user action, which enables the end user to pass information to the uh, support engineer who is working on his issue. So what I would like to do is actually block the ability to edit the issue while it's assigned to a support engineer. And if the end user clicks edit, I would like to override the edit item page with the add comments user action. So when the end user clicks edit or goes here and select edit, he won't see the edit item page. Instead, he will see the add comments custom form with just the comments field. So let's do it. I'm going to the Quizcom apps settings page. And here, let's see our user action. So here is our add comment user action. Now looking at this page, there's another tab called default actions. We didn't talk about it so far. In this page, you can select user action that can override the new item form and the edit item form for this list. So when user clicks edit item, for example, instead of getting the default, the regular edit item form, he'll get the user action instead, the select one. So let's select our add comment user action here to override the edit item form. And let's click save. And now let's get back to our list and let's see what happens when the end user tries to edit his reported issue, which is already in progress. Okay, so let's select our reported issue, which is in progress status. And let's click edit. You see that instead of my regular edit form, I see 
actually the add comment user action form, which displays just the comments field. Now, if we try to edit the issue which is in new status, so it's not handled by anyone, you see that I get my regular edit form. So this way you can display different edit forms depending on the status or on the context of the current item. Now, what happens if I have multiple user actions that were selected to override the edit item form and several of them should be displayed under the current status of the item. I'm going back to my Quizcom apps setting. And let's go to custom actions. Before I add another user action, let's look at this one again. So this user action just shows the comments field and the conditions for this user actions is that it's available only if status is in progress and the issue logged by is equal to the current user. Okay, so I'm going to create now another user action. This one is going to show the service rating field. And let's select a nice icon here. And let's add the same conditions. So these two user actions should be displayed under the same conditions. And let's click Save. And let's go to Default Actions and add the second one, the Rate Service, also to override the Edit Item Form. So we have a situation now that we selected two different user action. Each displays a different custom form. Both of them were selected to override the edit item uh, form. And both of them should be available under the same conditions. So let's see what happens. So I'm clicking Save. And let's get, go back to our list. And now let's select the issue which is in progress. And try to edit it. So as expected, because there are multiple user actions available, a page is displayed with all the available user actions for the end user to select. So in this case, I'll select the second one and get the appropriate form for it and finish. Okay, so to summarize, default user actions are user actions that display fields and can be used to override the regular or the default new item form and edit item form. And because they have conditions like any other custom actions, you can actually implement multiple new item forms or multiple edit item forms that will be displayed instead of the regular uh, new or edit item forms, depending on the current context and depending on the current user.